Hi there, and welcome back. Continuing on, we're now going to want to start bringing in assets from our repository into our simulation. I'm just going to hit F11 to make this full screen so I can take advantage of all the space. So first, what we're going to want to do is we're going to start bringing in our individual assets. So you can utilize the search bar up here in order to bring them in. And the first one that I'm going to want to bring in is a table. You can select from any of these, but the one that I prefer the best is the long table. So all you do is click on the object, and then it will begin following your mouse cursor, and then you can left click again to drop it in place. I think that this is a good spot for the table, so I don't need to change anything else. Except for I will hard code some of the values, just so that the orientation is something that I'm able to match with other assets. So I'm just going to quickly change the x to 2.7 and the z to negative 0 0.13. Alright, the next asset I'm going to need is a dispenser. So we have an industrial dispenser here, which I'm just going to bring in. I'm going to drop it in place. And now we'll get to the other tools here. So there's the selection tool, which lets you change your selection without doing any other effects. The movement tool, which lets you select an object and move it throughout the space in the X and Z. The Y movement tool, which I, which will let you move an object up and down. And the rotation tool, which lets you rotate an object by hand um, by using that. However, as I just want it to turn around, I'm just going to type in the values here for 180 degrees. There's also the scale tool, which I will not be utilizing, but it lets you scale an object up or down based on what it is that you are aiming for. Okay, So you're able to change the size or the delete, which will let you delete an object from your space. And if you don't like being bothered and being asked these questions every time you delete, um, you can just do not ask the next time, or you can hit cancel if you accidentally have selected something. But I'm just going to bring in another dispenser and place it in my space and make it so that it's rotated exactly 180 degrees. And I want it to be lined up with my table, so this is why I'm just going to match it to the X of 2.7. So now it is lined up properly. Alright, next I need some objects to serve as buttons for my dispenser. Luckily I have these cylinders in here, so I'm just going to bring in three cylinders, one gray, one red, and one white. So if I bring my gray cylinder, I can scale it down to what is more appropriately sized for a button. I find that 0 0.1 is about the right size. And then I just need to rotate it in two directions. So 90 for X and 90 for Y. Then I can move it to what I find or what I think is a good height. And then just embed it within my machine where I like it to be. So I'm just going to do 2.15 and then 2.2. And I can just easily adjust the Y height to whatever I find to be best. I'm just going to go with 1.3. Okay, so that would be my white button. Next I will bring in a red one which again I'm just going to scale down to be 0 0.1, rotate it 90 degrees in the X and Y, and then I'm just going to match it in its positioning with the gray cylinder, 1.3, and then offset it by 0 0.2. So it's just along that same line. And my last button will be the white cylinder, which again, we're just going to scale it down. Point eight. Nine degrees next and y. Two point one five in x and one point three in z. Or yeah. Two point one three in x and one point three in y. My bad. And one point eight in z, so it's awesome. So now I have three buttons lined up along my dispenser. Last that I need are my actual connection pieces. Or <laughs> um, so I need my molecule spheres. So I have M sphere one and M sphere two. So I'm just going to quickly bring them in and just 
just place them on my table. And last is M connection, which serves as the connecting piece between my molecules. So with this, I have brought in three assets that I'm going to use as my assembly. Right now, I'm just going to hit save. I'm going to mark it as a public simulation, which allows me to share it through a web link if I so wanted to. And then I can hit play. So currently, we have not created any behaviors, but we have populated our scene with some assets. The controls are shown in the upper right-hand corner, as well as at the pause screen, which you saw when it was loading in. They are W, A, C, and D to move, E to grab, X to drop, T to open the chat box, which I don't believe we'll be utilizing in the simulation, and left click in order to interact with objects, and right click to hold and drag. Right now, I don't have any interactions, but I am able to walk about the space, admire the work of my table, and the classroom itself. In order to get back to our authoring, we're going to hit the quit in the lower left-hand corner, and it will bring us back to the editing scene here. Next, I will begin showing you how we are going to be adding the behaviors to the assets we have brought in so that they function as an appropriate simulation where we are utilizing these buttons on the dispenser to create duplicates of these basic assets here, which we can then assemble into whatever molecular structure that the user would like to, as the toys that these are based off of is utilized. Thank you so much.